Okay, good morning. I'm be real with y'all. <laughs> I'm on the way to the gym. I haven't been to the gym since Wednesday. Like, y'all, I have been in a complete funk. Like, complete funk. And I don't know. I don't know why. And I feel like every time I come on here, I'm in a funk. But this is like, y'all, moving really messes with me. And it always, it always kind of does, unless I wanted to be there. So, like, when I moved to Berlin, it was an easy transition. But I went, like, when I moved for college, easy transition. And when I moved to Atlanta, I'm not going to say it was an easy transition because I was just so depressed about leaving Berlin. Like, I was so sad. But then I was like, at least I'm in the city. At least it's, you know, lit here. It'd be good. But now, I moved again. And I'm like, it is not lit here. Get me out of here. <laughs> Get me out of here. So I'm having, like, the hardest time adjusting, girl. And I've been here three months now. And I... I'm still having the hardest time. But I'm going to the gym today because I don't know. I think I have really bad body dysmorphia, but also like I can feel the fat that I've gained or the weight that I've gained since being here. And I know it's because I'm comfort eating because I don't feel like myself. So this week we're gonna challenge ourselves to stick to our plan. I made a plan and I also made a um, new workout plan that I'm gonna start today. And we're gonna see how that goes for the rest of the week. I, I'm, I wanna promise myself that I'm gonna do it because I've always been really consistent in the gym. And I know that something's going on with me if the gym is not consistent. So I gotta fix whatever it is. Whatever it is, I gotta fix it. And I was talking to my friend the other day. I was like, has there ever been a time where you felt like you couldn't do anything? And she was like, there's never been a time that I've never felt like I can do it. I couldn't do anything. Like I just kind of look at it and see, like, okay, I'm at the bottom of the mountain. I can see the top of the mountain. What does it take to get up there? And then she just takes it step by step. And I'm like, I I haven't always been like that. So I'm trying to find the, the people around me that I feel are successful, and I ask them if they've ever felt like that because for whatever reason, <laughs> I feel like I just kind of do stuff like. I never just sat down and be like, okay, what do I want to do? Is it going to be hard, assessed? And I feel like if it's too hard or I feel like I can't do it or it's out of reach, I just won't do it. <laughs> so I'm trying to fix my habits. And I feel like these are things that I should have thought about when I was like 25. <laughs> but now I'm just like, uh, it's okay. Better late than never. And we're going to go from there. But let's go to the gym. It's already 5.30. I woke up at 4.30, y'all. It just took me a whole hour to get dressed and get in the car because my anxiety is high. It's so high. Okay, y'all. I want to start this by prefacing and saying that I still have high anxiety when it comes to filming myself in the gym. So there's not much video here. But it doesn't make sense because I used to make these Instagram reels like it's nothing. I don't know what changed. Okay, so while my pie is cooking, I'm going to butter my hair. And y'all, I douse my hair with the protectant because even though it's not my real hair, I still want to protect it because I want to get as much wear out of this as possible. Um, there really isn't much video for this either. Like y'all, I'm still learning <laughs> and relearning how to do this, but it's fun. And my hair came out really cute. Y'all can tell I was feeling myself at the end because I did not know how to act in that camera. You see me? You see her? You see me? <laughs> but anyway, as I got done feeling myself, y'all, like, I realized that I was not feeling great. So I had to fast track everything that I was doing. Like, I don't know what happened. I had to go lay down for a little bit. Like, it really was, I was down bad. Down bad.
Okay, y'all, so as y'all can see, my sweet potatoes are ready. I'm actually not feeling too good, and I want to just go lay down and quit feeling this, but if I don't do it now, it's not going to get done, and I don't have time for that, so I'm trying to thug it out. I took some pain medicine earlier. I think I'm, like, close to my cycle, and I'm really fatigued, <laughs> but we go, we going to keep going here, but honestly... Like I said before, this would be easier if I just got a fork <laughs> and did it. But I already, I'm just being lazy because I'm like, oh, I already started with the knife because I was trying to see if they were soft. But yeah, just peel the skin off. And don't worry, all the skin is coming off. Like, I don't have any skin in my bowl. And I'm going to show y'all in just a second. But, um, yeah, like, I'm just chilling, trying to see. Not chilling, I'm... I'm over here really fighting for my life. <laughs> I'm fighting for my life. But uh, I um, I just got to get it done. I got to get it done. Makes it better. But I will. Okay. So I don't do dairy. <laughs> I'm going to just continue the rest of the video like this. I don't do dairy, so I do... Um, like margarine, not margarine, what is it? Uh, I can't think straight, but I'll show it to y'all. This is not butter. It does not include any milk. It's basically like water and soybean and, um, palm oil and stuff like that. So I use this because I don't use butter. Um, so I'm about to use half a cup of that. I have my aunt's recipe because I love her sweet potato pies. Honestly, I've tweaked it a little bit because I have the dairy, obviously. And it's probably one of the best pies that I've ever made in recent years. And honestly, my friends will tell you, like, they love when I make the sweet potato pies. So that's why I'm making two of them. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use brown sugar, sugar, and then I'm going to use coconut milk. So... I don't use, oh my God, y'all, I'm about to die. I don't use milk, and I use vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, nutmeg, everything, so uh, it's gonna be okay. But I'm gonna reduce this temperature, because when I'm ready to put my pie in there, I will uh, pie in there. And I got this from Walmart. I usually um, use the Pillsbury Doughboy ones, and I don't know why, but the store that I went to, they were out of it. And the ones they did have were, like, all crushed up. Like, somebody had been throwing them and banging them on the ground. Um, I'm not putting that in there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just start with... Or something like that. Is it an olive oil? Can you see me? But this is what my pie looks like, all smooth. And it's ready to be put in the oven for an hour. Y'all, I am not a sweet food type of girl at all. But I don't know. I was craving it. So I found a bakery that had the best sweets I've ever had in my entire life. And because Y'all, it's a Korean bakery. It's called Bakery uh, 1908. And if you're ever in the area, go and try it because it does not disappoint. But y'all, it's I feel like I like Asian sweets because they're not too sweet. And it's just the perfect amount. So yeah, like it was worth it. And if you're ever in the area, like I said, please go because this was divine. It was delicious.
after eating at the bakery, I ended up taking a walk around the little neighborhood. And that's the end of my week. See y'all next week.